Welcome back. Hannity, it appears the American voters, that's you, are finally getting fed up with all the scandals surrounding 2016 Democratic presidential candidate Hillary Clinton and pollster Frank Luntz recently dialed some anti-Clinton campaign ads. The results are very revealing. Joining us now with more, the man himself, Frank Luntz. All right, let's start with her joking about Snapchat, considering most people now think that she should be investigated here, 58%. Let's, let's go to the tape. You may have seen that I recently launched a Snapchat account. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Those messages disappear all by themselves. It's not even fun. She's the most unlikable politician I ha I've ever seen. Is that going to go over well? Yes. No, it doesn't go over well. Her unfavorables are going up, and they're going up among the people who she cares about most. They're going up among women, particularly younger women. Up among liberals, particularly younger liberals. You mean the negatives? There's a reason why Bernie Sanders, the negatives, the negatives yeah. are going up. There's a reason why Bernie Sanders is drawing 15, 20,000 people. It's not just pro Bernie Sanders, it's also anti Hillary Clinton. All right, there are two ads, anti-Hillary ads or, or against Hillary ads that you dialed. Let's go to the first one, because these numbers are staggering, meaning that they're working. This is a bullseye hit in both cases. Let's go to the first one. Our allies don't trust us. Our enemies don't fear us. The death of an American ambassador. Three members of a U.S. security team on the ground in Benghazi. What difference at this point does it make? The Senate Intelligence Committee review found the attack was preventable. The report blamed the State Department for not increasing security in Benghazi. Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, they wanted to reset relations with Russia right. and with Putin. How'd that go? How's that work out? <laughs> And not really working out well. The Russian military now being directly involved in fighting Ukrainian government forces. Many of the members of Congress of both parties who have gone to Syria have said they believe he's a reformer. That's Those are high numbers in terms of people thinking that's a, of an effective ad. Sean, you look at the Democratic number, the green number, because that's the one who you would expect to support her. When she says and yells, what difference does it make? The spike in there is significant. When the public sees that and they hear her voice and they watch her say it, it frustrates them. When she says that she uh, wanted to reset the relationship with Putin, they say, no, you have failed. What that ad shows is that the more you see her and the more you hear from her, the angrier you get. Wow. Now, the, the, it's funny because she said that she landed under sniper fire in Bosnia. And, of course, we have pictures of her getting off the plane and, and getting flowers from a little girl. And that incident never happened. That's part of the next ad that you dialed. Let's roll that. I remember landing under sniper fire. There was no greeting ceremony, and we basically were told to run our cars. Now, that is what happened. There was no sniper fire. I misspoke. Yeah, it was totally, I was totally misspoke. But we came out of the White House not only dead broke, but in debt. Looking at the book advance she had, was leaving the White House $8 million plus. You know what? Rich people, God bless us. Quinnipiac University found Hillary Clinton's lead is dwindling against Republican candidates. A new poll out this morning shows former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton losing ground. Losing ground in key states, including Iowa. Now that's why she erased her server and, and got rid of 33,000 emails. Here's what I thought of. Remember when the, this whole email server issue came up, the first thing she said is, oh, I, I wanted the convenience of only one device. And then she revealed she has three devices she carries, including an iPad, etc. Then she said, well, I, I would email back and forth with my husband. Her husband doesn't email. So she lies with regularity. The sniper fire incident is another one. I got to imagine that contributes to 58% of Americans not finding her honest and trustworthy. Can you win with those numbers? It's, uh, in this election, I think all the rules are out. Even the replacement rules are out. But there's a word, Sean, that matters here, and that's integrity. The American people, whether you are Democratic or Republican, you want someone who has integrity. And she has demonstrated again and again through her own words and her own actions that there's a question there. And that is going to be her greatest weakness. It's a reason why she's not doing as well as everyone expected on the Democratic side. And now you have Republicans that are actually leading her in the general election. All right, Frank Luntz, interesting stuff. We appreciate it.